for macmillan cancer so that they can be better awareness about cancer preventive plans and the community should engage with macmillan so i hope that this partnership between the muslim council of britain east london mosque finsbury mosque the ramadan tent the baraka khan foundation will build this partnership with macmillan cancer will build an alliance of goodness Today I'm here representing RTP as uh, we are very very proud to be supporting this great initiative between the Baraka Khan Foundation, the Muslim Council of Britain and London uh, East London Mosque um, as well as Macmillan Cancer Support. Um, our involvement in this is we're going to be actually arranging and organizing a open iftar on Thursday the 27th of September uh, to raise awareness and to encourage people to have a sponsored fast both Muslims and non-Muslims to raise funds for this Uh, commendable uh, initiative. First and foremost, I just want to say it's uh, an absolute honor to be here, to be part of this amazing initiative, uh, which is a, a landmark initiative where we are bringing a number of different communities together on a very important issue. Um, hearing uh, Brother Iqbal's uh, speech, actually, it uh, really reminded me of how incredibly uh, humble Baraka was, subhanAllah, honestly, like the selfless work Um, and the legacy she has created is phenomenal. So for us, we continue doing our work, our main flagship project, which is Open Niftar, which is about bringing people together, hundreds of people together in public spaces where we actually provide an intervention where people come together and talking about important issues over food, breaking our fast. So for us, uh, you know, we are very excited during the month of September uh, to be launching our Open Aftar in support of Macmillan on a Sunnah fast day, which is a Thursday, to encourage as many people to come and join us. Inshallah. For you a warm welcome to the East London Mosque London Muslim Centre and a special thanks to the all the media who are here including the Islam TV and other TV channels to cover this event today. We are happy to greet all friends this afternoon and particularly newcomers who have not previously visited our mosque and the centre and have therefore not learnt about our work in the community throughout London. Cancer was not on the horizon. You don't talk about cancer to a 21-year-old girl who is rowing, cycling, running around. And the doctor said, Baraka got terrible, terrible, awful news. His body language was the first sign that I knew that something was seriously wrong. But nothing prepared us. And then he said, Baraka got really awful news, really, really terrible news. He gave us a glass of water and then he said, You've got Macmillan nurses here. That's when I knew there was a connection with, with cancer. And he said, you know, you've got Adona Carcinova, small cell, lung cancer. She listened to it. And she said, Doc, Prof, how much time do I have? He said, nine months. If you're lucky, 12 months. And then she looked at me and she said in Arabic, Baba, which is dad, is a Radith Amant. If, you, if we accept this fate, then we are people of faith. 
And if we do not, if we deny it, if we question it, then we are not people of faith. And that which was destined has come and will come. She turned around to Professor Wilson and she said, Prof, I don't know what is nine months, 12 months, but tell me about the people who fought cancer and who defeated cancer and how did they defeat cancer? So he said, well, to the best of my knowledge, nobody has defeated Adona Carcinoma so far. She said, I always wanted to be the first one. And from there started a battle. And then the Macmillan nurses appeared and Baraka gave them a hug and said, I'm so grateful that you came. Knowing you has given me strength. Then she asked for a space to pray. And both of us prayed. And when she went in the prostration, she made a special prayer. Allahumma raddini fi qadaik walhimni bis sabri ala balaik. My Lord, I surrender to you what this calamity has come, but inspire me with the strength and with patience to face this calamity. This is what our religion is all about. It's not meant to be Insula is supposed to be an open religion where people can come and meet and discuss and debate and, and learn and, and share experiences. So I hope, inshallah, this initiative really grows into something quite substantial over the years um, and you know, it has our full backing from the MCB to, to make that happen, inshallah. relationship between Macmillan and the Muslim community where we're going to be looking at um, and asking mosques around the country to take part in Macmillan's coffee morning so that we can raise awareness of cancer amongst the Muslim community and we can start a conversation about how we can work together and support people who've been struggling with cancer and just make sure everybody gets the help that they needed. Um, we're also looking to raise money for Macmillan so we can spend more money in areas where people need it the most. We've already heard a number of times today, cancer simply does not discriminate. Today, 90 people in London will be told that they have cancer. Tomorrow, 90 more people in London will be told they have cancer. On Monday, next week, it will be the same. And that's an awful loss of people. And if you think about what happens throughout the rest of the country, they add up to some very, very, very big numbers. I'm going to talk about you know some stuff which is quite quite hopeful as well I think because I think thanks to thanks to the support of research colleagues to wonderful people who work in the NHS more and more people are surviving their cancers and people are living longer with their cancer so today the average survival time in the UK for somebody with a cancer diagnosis is 10 years at the turn of the century it was less than five years so every day and every year we do make advances but there's no question um, there are big numbers, one in two of us will be diagnosed with cancer at some point during our lives and, that, and that's awful. But behind those big numbers are real, real people. And, and I want to pay tribute to Baraka today, a woman I never met but I feel I know so well. Thank you.